Hello everybody, my name is Sigourney and I am the Origami Llama. In today's video, we will explore the fascinating history of the origami crane and its modern significance. The paper crane design is one of the oldest origami designs in existence. Invented in 105 AD in China, paper and paper folding eventually made their way to Japan in the 6th century thanks to Japanese monks. For many centuries, origami was reserved mainly for religious ceremonies and very special occasions due to the high cost of paper. It was not until the Edo period, starting in 1603, when the Japanese were able to affordably mass-produce paper, that origami became a recreational activity. The very first written origami instructions by Akisato Rito came out in 1797 and was called Senbazuru Orikata, or 1000 Crane Folding. Today, the crane is one of the most globally recognizable of the traditional origami models and a Japanese cultural icon. In fact, the crane is what drew me to origami in the first place. I bought a book of crane instructions that included paper and taught myself how to fold one for the first time in 2013 at age 22. I couldn't get enough origami after that and eventually learned more and more models. So, why the crane? Well. Origami is a popular Japanese art, and cranes have mystical origins in Japan. The bird was thought to live for 1,000 years and be an omen of good fortune. Japanese legend holds that one who folds 1,000 cranes will be granted a wish. A set of 1,000 cranes is termed a senbazuru. Traditionally, senbazuru are strung in 25 strands of 40 cranes each. Other common variants are 10 strands of 100 cranes or 20 strands of 50 cranes. It is a widespread custom in Japan and other Asian countries where origami is popular for people to fold cranes for sick friends or relatives in the hospital. The classmates of one of the boys stuck in the flooded Shang Rai caves in Thailand back in 2018 folded 1,000 cranes in three days in a show of love and support. I have heard crane folding most accurately referred to as a form of tangible prayer. The crane made its big appearance on the world stage as a symbol of peace and healing around 1955, when 12-year-old Sadako Sasaki, a victim of the radioactive fallout from the Hiroshima bombing who developed leukemia as a result, died after folding over 1,000 of these birds. Her story touched the hearts of people everywhere, and today her monument in Hiroshima receives over 10 million cranes annually. You can see some of Sadako's cranes at peace memorials and culturally significant sites around the world, thanks to the contributions and continued peace advocacy efforts of Sadako's surviving older brother, Masahiro Sasaki. Sadako's story is absolutely remarkable and contains messages centered on empathy and the power of human compassion. You can read the entirety of it in the complete story of Sadako Sasaki and the Thousand Paper Cranes, written by Sue DeCiccio and Masahiro Sasaki himself. I highly recommend it to kids and adults alike. You can also show your support and participate by folding and sending your own 1,000 cranes to this address. Peace Promotion Division, comma, International Peace Promotion Department, Citizens Affairs Bureau, comma, City of Hiroshima, 1-5 Nakajima-cho, comma, Naka dash ku, comma, Hiroshima City, comma, Japan, seven thirty dash zero eight one one. Alternatively, students and teachers can visit Sudicicio's Peace Crane Project dot org to find out how to exchange cranes and messages of peace with kids in classrooms from all over the world. As Masahiro Sasaki wrote, What I learned from Sadako was that from a heart that values love and compassion, we can be in perfect empathy with one another, respecting and understanding one another deeply. Crane folding is a great way to practice mindfulness and can even be meditative. Origami has proven to help keep your brain healthy as you age and can help people develop their memory, nonverbal thinking, attention, tactile and fine motor skills, and spatial reasoning. These benefits make origami a popular tool of occupational therapists, who use it to help children, individuals with learning difficulties or attention deficit disorder, the elderly, stroke victims, and those undergoing injury rehabilitation. Speaking of healing and medical uses, 
Did you know that the Kuroshiki Central Hospital in southern Japan tests the skill of their surgical students by having them use surgical equipment to fold a crane from a 1.5 centimeter square piece of paper? The world record for the smallest crane belongs to assistant professor Watanabe at Niigata University, who folded a crane from a square measuring only one tenth of a millimeter by one tenth of a millimeter. He used a microscope and sewing needle to fold it at age 82 back in 2004. Even if you do not wish to fold 1,000 of them, become a surgeon in Japan, or set any world records, you can still include peace cranes in your everyday life. Origami cranes make great little gifts and can be used in a myriad of art and craft projects. You can write notes and messages on them and delight friends and strangers alike with your new skill. Socially awkward or shy? Cranes are a fantastic conversation starter and a great way to start a friendship or new relationship. They're also a great way to say thank you, show encouragement and support, and demonstrate to the ones you care about that you are thinking about them. If you already fold, please keep spreading the love. For those of you new to the art of paper folding, please feel free to follow along with my folding in this video. Otherwise, stay tuned for my next video where I will slowly break down and explain the steps in a proper origami crane tutorial. If you found this video informative and want to support what I do, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. You can find links to my other social media accounts in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.